Hi, my name is Hogger and today I want to show you how to make one big display from two projectors. We are using uh, the Viozo, um, Viozo player to calibrate two projectors and connected are two Optima Ultra Short Throw projectors and uh, one Viozo micro station, uh, the Any Station micro, uh, very nice and powerful system with eight outputs. Uh, this is your start display when you start your system and we just press on the Biozo player icon uh, because it has uh, the player list and uh, the calibration tool already included. So uh, what you usually see is these two screens when you start your system. Uh, this is the playlist with your MPEX and uh, whatever you want to show, your JPEGs, and you have on the right side your, um, uh, your calibration screen. And we want to start with the calibration. We have a single client calibration, which means only one computer connected. And here we can choose the, uh, the projectors that we want to uh, calibrate. These are the two Optimus. The two up here uh, is the control monitors that are connected. We have a flat screen. Uh, which means a normal wall, very easy to calibrate, of course. And we have connected a webcam uh, for the calibration process. This is for our test purpose only. We can usually connect an industrial um, high-end camera to do uh, big um, calibrations for domes or uh, stages. Then you need to connect a much better uh, resolution camera. Our orientation of the projectors is horizontal because they are standing next to each other and uh, the calibration process starts now. Uh, we need to bring down first the brightness of the camera uh, which is uh, too, too bright now, the exposure is too high. So we reduce it to a value that you can see correctly uh, the picture. and. Uh, now you see the overlapping area here in the center and left and right you see the, the uh, projections. Uh, we want to draw a mask uh, around this area, uh, a mask where the process of the calibration should happen because we don't want that the system is even seeing uh, here our projectors and everything around. So we draw a simple mask uh, just quick and dirty here and we fill everything that is now filled will not be recognized by the calibration process. So the system is checking now which projector is connected to which output, uh, what resolution we can have, all these things. So you can see now here you see the green dots which are quite clear so uh, this is what we want to achieve uh, and now the system is scanning the wall and uh, you can have very um, different type of projection surfaces where you want to project on. Uh, we, we choose now for this test only the simplest one uh, which is uh, a wall and uh, it's flat and very easy to uh, calculate but to see how fast the system uh, works and how reliable it is to do a blending of two projectors uh, it's, uh, this is, uh, I think, a, a good solution to do it like this. Now the system is calculating the geometry of the scanning process and uh, you see now a projection. Uh, actually it is showing you nothing but if there is some strange artifacts inside then you know your settings were not correctly and you can redo it with a different settings. We do the calibration process for the left side. Here as well, dots are clear and starting the calibration for the left projector. Uh, it's quite fast. Uh, it is uh, even the same with a professional camera. So there is not a big differences. Um, but in the field you have much, you can do uh, much better resolution when you change your settings. Uh, imagine in the big dome uh, where you have really immense surfaces, 
you need much better scanning and uh, resolutions. Here our camera is about mm, let's say 1.5 meters away from the projection which is uh, not that much. Now again no strange artifacts and we can do the blending of the uh, two calculations which is perfect uh, on the screen you don't see it correctly but uh, it is a perfect overlapping uh, we now drag and drop our uh, projection roughly to my markers here that I set where I want to have the projection inside um, like this we can do it more detailed after just to have a rough projection in our surface that we want to have we click next save and finish and we are done so now our image is completely uh, nicely aligned what we can do is we can just uh, uh, have the test image again and adjust our screen exactly to its positions uh, we just need to add here some more columns so when you choose this you can go with your arrows and curves you can move it up and down and here you can go to the fine mode and move it really exactly to its position so we have it exactly in the center maybe like uh, where is the center it's here so we can move it to here and here as well this one we move it to the right this one we move it to the right so we have it exactly in our center and uh, the edges looks fine so when everything is done we just go to save our settings to the startup or whatever you want to call it so when you do it as a startup uh, the calibration will be loaded once we start the system and uh, now we can play back a video and let's see how it looks with the video deactivate our test pattern and as you can see it is a perfect overlapping and a very smooth display just can go to different clips just start by double click or according to your playlist it will run the videos according uh, to your uh, schedule yeah I hope you saw how easy it is to calibrate two, uh, two projectors um, as one uh, you can of course do it with as much projectors uh, as you need for a very large area like a football field uh, or a mapping onto a building uh, which is now more uh, very popular is the uh, uh, is domes uh, and there you need a couple of projectors to fill uh, the whole hemisphere thanks for watching and uh, good luck with your next projects hope I can help you with this bye bye